All right, episode six, I think. Dan Brennan, third time. My internet kept cutting out. Thanks for sticking with me, buddy. Appreciate you. Well, we've tried long, long and hard to get me on a podcast with you, so here we are. We've talked about everything already, so we got to think of some new shit. What do you think about <laughs> Epstein, bro? <laughs> I don't I don't get caught up in, in that kind of stuff, but... Uh, That's good. My, if, <laughs> me neither. If, if, if I had my guess, he didn't kill himself. Yeah, that's what yeah. I've been saying, too. All right, cool. Yeah. We're on the same page, it seems, with a lot of stuff. <coughs> that's oh, one but, item. <laughs> one thing I didn't g- really get to hear your answer on, though, I cut out as soon as uh, I asked, so I'll ask this one again. The mm. aliens. I want to hear your uh, your thoughts on aliens. Well, I, yeah, I'll, now that I've had a chance to think about it, maybe I can sum this up a little bit better. Um it would be arrogant of us to think that we were alone in the universe. Um, it would be arrogant of us to think that we're the most advanced species. Uh, it would be arrogant of us to think that, you know, because this is what I was explaining last time, the planet's been around for billions of years. Uh, humans, as, as I think in their homo, homo sapien form, have only been around for like 10,000 years, right? I think longer than that, bro, because we were like hunter and grab gatherers for like a long time. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we were hunter well, gatherers for like a hundred thousand years or something. Yeah, but like at most a hundred thousand years, right? All right, we'll say that for argument's sake. Yeah, compared to hundreds of billions of years that the yeah. universe has been around, right? So I think it's quite possible that uh, yeah, there are aliens. Uh, I think there probably is. I think there's probably been societies that came along and became more advanced than us, uh, and then ended up, um, you know, dying out. And I think. I think we could die out. I think that every society, no matter where you are in the universe, Sab, <laughs> I, I think there's probably a few keys to human, or sorry, to, to evolution. And those would be like the harnessing of fire, right? Mm-hmm. And like the, the more you learn to harness energy, the better off your society is. Like the advances we've had in the last 120 years because we were able to harness oil and electricity well uh, they could they could advance in different ways you know they had different energies or whatever to harness you know what i mean sure sure or but be I, think, something complete. I think we're like we're currently choking out the planet so we have to move beyond this and this is mm-hmm. my theory that throughout the universe many societies have gotten to this point where they're like okay we use carbon to get us here mm-hmm. but now it's killing us do we have the fortitude to get off of it uh and keep going so uh, it's interesting, though. It's interesting to see all the wildlife come back. Uh, you know, the other day I looked out on my balcony and there was there was a dinosaur in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> you still got it, buddy. You still got it. <laughs> I've been waiting to use that one. I've been to... I have been writing. I've been writing like it's mostly pandemic related stuff. But, yeah. uh, you know, I got this bit I want to work up for when we come back about how... Uh, you know, we all owe a great debt to the essential workers uh, out there. You know, everyone from the grocery store clerks to the nurses and doctors and paramedics. But maybe not the cops. <laughs> like, I think the cops have had it way easy this go around, don't you think? Yeah, I remember I, like when this for, shit first started, I was like, I'm good to speed, right? There's nobody out. The <laughs> cops don't want to pull me over. And I got pulled over and I got a fucking ticket. And I was like, what the fuck, man? There's Did no one even really? outside. Yeah. Well, there 40 was that bucks. Story in the but... paper about someone getting 200. 40 bucks? Did he bust it down or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was nice. Yeah. Oh. yeah <laughs> Were you wearing pajamas at the time? Because I have a feeling people who wear pajamas get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have been. I don't know, man. Probably. I probably was wearing p- p- pajama like, pants. The guy in a three-piece suit, he's not getting ticket. <laughs> hey, why are you in such a hurry? Why are you driving so fast? I was going to the Walmart in my pajamas. Uh, yeah. That guy's getting a ticket, okay? The other guy's got like a fucking business meeting. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. Don't, don't kid yourself. That's something um, the editor of the magazine I used to work for in, in England said to me once. He goes, I, I never, ever worry about speeding or anything like that because I'm always in a suit. Uh, and he said, you know, a cop looks at you and you're in a suit. He's like, oh, man, this guy's going to fight this ticket. 
because it's worth it for him because of his insurance rates, right? Mm. So I don't want all that hassle. He doesn't get a ticket. So that's some good advice to everyone out there. Invest in a suit that's your driving well, suit. Half of a suit and, and, and you just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that you just put all when you're driving. It like attaches with your seatbelt. How sick would that be? Dude, yeah. we have just, we have absolutely cracked it. If we could like get like a front half of a suit that would fit in a glove box. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And even if you're still driving your 82 Ford Escort, you know, held together by duct tape, they are not giving you a ticket. That's the theory. Yeah, you can always just make up an excuse to be like, I just bought this car for my son. You know what I mean? I don't want him to be a spoiled brat. Got to give him a shitty car when they turn 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm going to be late for his birthday party right now, officer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, how, I'll ask this question for the third time because I think it's quite relevant. How has your pandemic right. been? Oh, yeah, that is the third time you're asking it. Let me see how yeah. I can answer it this time. Yeah, so it was uh, – it sucks, man. It's fucking – you're just sitting at home doing nothing. I just yeah. fucking been grinding on YouTube, trying. Nice, That's nice. Yeah. yeah, you gotta have that creative outlet, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I miss doing comedy, man. It's weird though. I wish like at, when I, I was did. doing comedy, was... good. Yeah. No, no, I was just I am I'm agreeing with you. I oh miss yeah, comedy. yeah. But when I was doing it, I wish that I was like doing YouTube back then too. Like it sucks that this is this had to happen to get me to start actually trying because like imagine if i was doing this like three years ago when i started comedy and like posting my sets and shit and then after yeah. comedy show be like subscribe to my youtube or whatever right yeah yeah i think there's value in that there's there's a couple things i would say about that like because i work for a content development studio during the day right mm -hmm. uh, oh, one of the things yeah one of the things we're always having to tell our clients is that quality matters so much more than quantity yeah, you have to get, you know, blogs and, and posts out there on a regular basis to help your positioning. But if everything looks like crap or it reads like crap, uh, what's mm -hmm. the point, you know? So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how often you're planning on doing this podcast, but, you know, maybe less frequently, more investment in, in coming up with ideas for it and graphics and all that kind of thing, right? Um, yeah, I'm so like, stupid though, bro. So I'd, I'd rather just do one every day and keep it shitty. Fuck, I don't care. I think I'm gonna just grind with garbage. Sometimes a learning curve too, right? Yeah. You can't expect your first podcast out the door to be award winning, right? Like, boom, you got more subscribers than Joe Rogan. How's that? <laughs> yeah, one day, man. One day. No, I love Joe I think, Rogan. I He's fucking awesome. If you achieve that on your sixth episode, I would have to shoot you through the computer screen. Uh, uh, bro, you look like Joe point. Rogan could look in like a couple of years, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like if he stopped working out, picked up a really bad, uh, uh, you know, a cigarette habit. Yeah, Joe Rogan. Yeah. Could look just like he hangs out with Dave Chappelle too much and starts smoking. That's it. But uh, he wishes he sounded this good. That's the only thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a soothing voice. I think people are going to like uh, like this one. I'm thinking, you know, with this, what is this AMSR movement? There's, man, that's been happening for a long time. But uh, yeah, I got okay. like, I got like a, a fan that does ASMR. Well, so like I, I watch her videos. That's the only one. I don't know if she still watches any of my videos, but Selena, yeah. what up? <laughs> <laughs> well uh i was thinking i should rent my voice out to some of these asmr right because mm -hmm. as you as you know i i lived in london england for 10 years in my 20s right That's so fire. i know a little bit or, am i losing you again no i'm here can you okay. hear me yeah so yeah there there was this thing about uh you know like middle-aged women uh masturbating to the shipping forecast late at night <laughs> So it'd just be like this guy on on some shortwave radio channel, you know, uh, winds from the northwest traveling at 15 knots. <laughs> <laughs> That's I crazy. I could do that. I could rent this voice out. Yo, you should try, man. Selena, if you want to fucking put them on with some sponges, that'd be fire. But it's got it's got to pay. 
it's got to pay. It's got to pay. How much did you charge? Who did you charge? Twenty know. bucks an hour. I don't know. Like, how long would an ASMR video be, or or tape be? As long as you want. Some people like <laughs> falling asleep to this shit, so it's probably like at least like ten minutes. I would say. There you go. There you go. So ten minutes. I'll take twenty bucks for ten minutes work. If I don't have to leave yeah. the home or put pants on, I'm good. You should just. Uh, you could start your own ASMR channel and just like read boring ass shit. Read the dictionary, yeah. bro. You'll get mad yeah. watch time. <laughs> Acquire. Yeah, dude, that'd be actually sick. Uh, I might steal that. <laughs> hey, it's yours, buddy. You go ahead. You use that. No, my voice sounds weird, dude. I sound like fucking way stupider than I sound in my mind, you know? When I'm thinking, my inner voice doesn't sound this idiotic. <laughs> <laughs> there is a boyish stoner quality to your voice, and especially yeah. your laugh as well, but... Uh, you know, maybe when you grow up and become a man, uh, Sab. Uh, I'm almost 30 years old, bro. Oh, man. You How long is it going to take, dude? You don't, you don't act a day over 18, my friend. I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I still get ID'd at fucking stores. Even with this really? Pan- yeah, I, bro. I, I wouldn't have picked 30. I'd have lost my job at the fair as the guy who guesses age and weight if uh, you came up to the booth for sure. Oh, look at me mm-hmm. giving the old 50 rocker. <laughs> Show us your muscles, bro. Fucking, yeah, what yeah. else? Um, fucking, ch- 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 I wish I had more crazy questions lined up. You, can you do any impressions? Uh, not really, no. Like, I do uh, really bad different Irish accents and things like that. But, like, if I ever broke any of my accents out in their country of origin, like Ireland or England... I'd probably get smashed in the head with a pint. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Everyone can do an English accent. That's too easy. They play. They play well in North America. Okay, I'm gonna do this for you, Sab. I've never played ukulele on the podcast. Yes. But this, like, this is like the only impression that I do. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yeah, man. It's called. It's called Angry Leonard Cohen. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. When I heard there was a secret chord that David played before the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do ya? Answer the fucking question. <laughs> He's angry. See, you got that. You got that was angry good. Was. That was good. I expected I it. I like that one. <laughs> it is good because it was. Uh, it's not what I expected. I expected like some. Uh, okay, at least we lasted a bit before it cut out that time. Just redo the whole the whole Leonard Cohen thing, or no? That was there. It's 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 all recorded. Let's just end it on that. I think we did talk for a bit, so. Okay, I wouldn't actually, uh, yeah, mind a, a really short clip uh, if you can edit it of that impression, and then I could put that out on my own channels. That'd be fire if I know how to edit. I don't know. I'll try. I'll try to figure it. So usually I just <laughs> straight up upload it. We're still recording, so this is all going to be in the podcast. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. But I just wanted to say, I don't think it's that difficult to uh, edit in Zoom. And this isn't an insult on my boss, but we, we ran an experiment because we want to start doing some Zoom interviews with our partners and clients, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, she seemed to be able to figure it out quite quickly. So uh, that's not me calling her dumb. I hope it didn't come off that way. But uh, yeah, <laughs> All right. it, it shouldn't, shouldn't be that difficult to figure out. And uh, hopefully we can get the lighting so it doesn't look like half my head is caved in one mm-hmm. day. Yo, is, there, is there anything you want to uh, like plug or anything? Uh, nothing. There's, there's, there's nothing to plug if anybody wants to go to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's just Dan Brennan Comedy. Uh, I have an Instagram account that I love to take photos of odd things and comment on uh, and update about my shows called at comedy things, Dan Brennan. Uh, do I need to spell Brennan B R E N N A N? Be kind of cool if you check that out. And uh, I'm itching. I absolutely can't wait to get back to do comedy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to ball my eyes out. And uh, when the pandemic is over, I'm just warning everyone in advance, you're all getting hugs. And they're all lasting a very long time. Okay. I hope our community and friends listen to this. We'll see if they make it this far. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, Sam, that was a lot of fun. Uh, keep yeah, going thanks, for man. A future episode. For sure, buddy. All right. Peace out. You're the fucking man. Love You're you, the buddy. Man. Take care, buddy. Cheers. Love you, too. <laughs>